Are we live? We are. What is up? Late. Bro, I was two minutes late. Two minutes late. Cry about it. Two minutes. 60 se... 120 seconds. 60 seconds. We got a lot lined up today. We got a lot. This is one of those like return to form streams. We got a lot lined up today. What I want to do is I want to play a game and then I want to do some React Dandy and then we're going to finish it off with uh, Signalis. I want to try and finish off Signalis today. I'm so tired. I just recorded a video. I was like screaming by the end of it. So now I'm kind of sleepy. Clickbait weird champ. There's always drama. There's always drama. Oh, I need to do the pinned comment for donors, don't I? Because if I don't do that, I'd be streaming for free. <laughs> what the hell? I don't, I don't do this for free. I like money. Do -do 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 -do. Did I get a kiss? Definitely not. Gridilius Bitchilus Stellus here. Just making my streamly demand for you to hit the gritty or review the hit game changed in a maid costume. Pyro kitten yawn. It's it's like what what were they asking last stream? They were asking hi-fi rush and now they're asking for changed. I tell you what, I tell you what, I, I do actually have uh hi-fi rush installed. How about we play that tomorrow? Or maybe today. Maybe today. Dead Space Impossible Rush, uh, Impossible Mode went. I'm playing through it now, but I'm doing it off stream because uh, I, I think playing through Dead Space again on stream will be kind of boring. And also, I need, I need content for a second channel. I need to make some breathing room so I give my editor stuff so I can finish off Cruelty Squad because I don't want to work on Cruelty Squad. There's like a fat dip of no uploads on the second channel because then there's then it just doesn't look very good okay how many views have we got we got 2000 that's enough so there's a game i want to play uh it's called garten of banban have we heard of it garten of banban thank you kazraz for joining have we heard of this game, Garten of Banban? Uh, hang on. Apparently, it's fucking awful. But I still want to try it. Uh, apparently, it is really, really bad. But I do, I do want to try it. I do want to try it. I'm going to boot it up. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. It could be terrible. Uh, gritty Della here, in the Shrek kid voice, do the gritty. Do the roar. Oh my god. Uh oh. I've just booted up the game and it's like killing my PC. Okay, hang on. 
I need to like fix the resolution and stuff. You can only do it in 1080p. You can't do it in 2K. Are you trolling? Great. Okay, hang on. I'm trying to get uh, this game to come up. The stream just started and you're already using the eggs you see naming scheme for the title. Yes. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, I need to manually... Jesus. I need to manually adjust it because it doesn't even do the right quality. Great. Yeah, I can... I, I don't know, man. I can kind of tell this isn't going to be a good game. Garden of... Ba is it meant to be Garden? Garden of Ban Ban. Uh, Anti-aliasing. Okay. We, we're getting the premium experience here. No 2K option, by the way. Only 1080. Disgusting. Ah, oh, look at that. Yeah, the, the, I like... I can't, why, I like how the menus are clipping over each other, by the way. Uh, this is, I saw everyone go crazy over this. The fact that they have a merch page in the actual link. Like on, on the on the main page before you can play the game. I, I think Poppy Playtime did that as well. Shall we have a look at some of the merch? Let's have a look. I mean, this game is free, so they kind of need to make money uh, somehow, don't they? Okay, let's let us let us have a look at some of the merch they got. So you got this uh great, great layout for a website. Could you imagine buying a mug like that? How much is that? 21 quid? Look at the amount of colours they have it in. Oh my god, they thought of everything. Ima imagine like I'm not joking though. Imagine buying that. And actually thinking, I want this. I'm gonna get in. I'm gonna get in at the ground floor of this amazing franchise that is obviously gonna be up there with FNAF, if not better. I need to buy a Ban Ban's party mug in bright red to get in at the ground floor. Yeah, no, Puppy's Playtime did this as well. Is it just the same thing? Appealer birds. Gritty Della here. Hey chat. Beg Byro to hit the gritty, please. It's gonna be low epic telly tubby funny. D D D. Next day. XD Lamau Raw. I'm firing my laser. Thank you for the five. Um, yeah, no, this, this merch. I, I remember making merch like this for my YouTube in like 2016. Because it would just be a, a small... It, it's so genius how you get like Redbubble and stuff. Like Redbubble will have stuff like this. They'll, they'll just get Sans Undertale. They'll stick it on the front of a hoodie and they'll be like, okay, job done. Job done. But yeah, not... Uh, Surprisingly not blown away by that there. Surprisingly not blown away. Hang on, I need to reboot my stream. It's kind of shitting itself a little bit. Uh, okay. Right. Load game. I hit load game instead of new game on accident. Oh, it just starts anyway. Okay. So I do want to put it out there. This game is free to play. So, I guess I guess we could defend it a little bit more because it is free to play. Can't see your legs. It's over. Oh my god, this motion blur. It's like I'm playing Outlast. Oh. Okay. One key card. So you can sprint. Here's uh, here's the characters. We're going to get to know and love. Uh, green man, uh, white woman, red man, bird, jellyfish, and five foot eleven man. Okay. Gritty Della here. Byro be like, I wonder why this game runs like Garbo and then his PC will be shitting itself and on the brink of explode, asking why he wasted money on a PS5 hoodie instead of a second 3090. I wouldn't get a 3090, I'd get one of the 40,000 series. Jumbo Josh says, eat vegetables and fruits to become strong like me. 
I wonder if it's one of those things, if I look away, he'll just have, like, you know, blood red eyes. Realistic face. Stinger Flynn says, having many arms allows me to help a lot more people. I look away I and it just says kill. I didn't tip the right amount the first time, Skull. Anyway, what are your thoughts on episode three of The Last of Us? It was, it was good. It was good. I like how they concluded Bill. Because Bill in the game... Bill in the Last of Us game kind of just like faded out after you were dealt with him, and then he just never really got mentioned or brought up again. They kind of concluded him pretty well in uh, in the episode. I just saw people like molding, like in the reviews, be like, "I don't care about these gays. I want to see more Joel and Ellie." Or am I even meant to be like boots? There's no boots. Okay. Wow, they can they just made this in like two seconds. Look at that. The remote requires two batteries. What was a note? Dear mommy, I am hiding in a room, but I have to fight the monster. It is the only chance to make Claire like me. Awkward face. Me, monster Claire. Did did you notice, by the way, how the letter was like it had the actual, like, declaration of independence of words wrote on there, but then it was just a child's drawings. Gritty Della again. What's your thoughts on people claiming Valve can't do any wrong when they invented some of the most predatory methods of monetization in gaming, like loot crates? Did Valve actually... I don't think people say Valve can't do any wrong. I mean, I think the mask kind of slipped with Valve after, uh... They announced... Uh, what was it? That Dota card game. I forget what it was. So I need two batteries. What, oh, there's one. Right. Oh, there's another. Oh, it just turns on on its own. Okay. And it clips right into me. Great. So I, I don't think I control this. I think it just kind of does it on its own. How does it feel being featured in a critical video? Amazing. Press... Use right button to teleport to toy to the nearest. Play Dark Souls 2 next stream. Can I leave? Oh. I just like how this game has started off immediately with me getting a, a UAV kill streak. Like, oh, oh, is it going to move its head when I walk through? There's no way. There's no way. Oh, my God. I, d I didn't see that one coming. There's no way. It moved a, a thing at the end of the corridor and it moved its head. And it's gone. There it is. I will go over to him in a second. Captain Fiddle says, Uga Booga Booga Uga. Okay. Ban Bellina says, Kindness is free, so sprinkle it everywhere. Dude. Look at her physique, man. She's like Abby from The Last of Us. Holy. And hitting the gym. Ban Ban. Oh, that's Ban Ban. Ban again. Ban Ban. Alongside DS2. Play the Bloodborne PSX to make by LW Media. Creator is also making a Bloodborne Kart Fang game where you can play as a man in a wheelchair. Yeah, I, I saw the uh, Bloodborne D make. I do need to play that. It looks pretty good. Thank you for the five. Uh, Zoe Lay, thank you for one month. Ban Ban says, sharing is caring. Your pancreas is mine. <laughs> You know how I made the joke, like, five minutes ago about how, like, you know, you look away for a second and it says something terrifying? They, 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 they beat me to the joke. They beat me to the joke. Your pancreas is mine. <gasps> He's... A, 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 a child mascot said something... Uh, something bad. Naughty corner. What's the naughty corner? Where's the drone? Where'd the drone go? He's still all the way over there. 
Oh, let me, let me, let me. Yeah. Hit that button. I don't think he can. No. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Hit the button. Okay. I think I, I think I need to use a key card to actually activate that. So that one's a purple key card. That one is a red one. Don't have any of them. That tree just looks like it's from What why is that tree so greasy? I, I know it's meant to be like a like a prop tree, right? But Is it gonna attack me? Find eggs to feed Opila bird. It looks like that you, you know that meme of the dog, the Walter dog that's just staring like directly at the camera? It's not the Walter dog. Opila bird mission. Opila bird is unbelievably hungry. Feed it six eggs to get your prize. Ball pit closed. Oh, I got one egg. No! I've been undone by a wooden plank. If only I had... You know what they should do in video games? Like, I'm being serious here. I'm not trolling. Like, you know how many games have, like, wooden planks that get in the way? Imagine if they invented a game where your character could, like, you know... Okay, this sounds really weird. This this is kind of hard to explain, right? Imagine if they did a thing in video games where if you needed to get past like a plank, imagine if you could like bend your knees down and then crouch and then crawl through. I know I'm asking for a lot from the video game industry there, but no, I, I'm just saying if if you took a minute to just imagine that, I know I know that's not going to be a thing until like the year 2050 or something it's it's very that's advanced level mechanics there but the boat is so glossy there's another button What did that do? I I don't know what that did. Oh, I can't even ride down there. Are you joking? Come on. Okay. I was going to say this is like one of the best games ever made, but now it's just a 0 out of 10. Really? You know what I love about this drone? It's so bugged that you can't call it from another room. You literally have to press a button to make it spawn into the room. Where'd it go? Where is it? There it is. So the drone doesn't even accurately follow you. It needs to like be spawned into the hey, room. Hey Byro, my girlfriend watches your stream at work. Please tell Madison she smells but in a really sexy way. No, I don't think I will. My girlfriend watches your stream at work. Please tell me, Madison, she smells. Madison, you smell. But in a really effeminate way. Oh, there's another note. Look at that, though, bro. Look at all the words on that note. And then when I open it up, it'll just be a child's drawing. Bring a friend day stickers. Caution, peel slowly. Is that it? I think I've got six eggs now, right? I think. Or have I got five? I don't know. We'll see. One egg. Why does it make like a bass drop sound? What's that thing with the wizards again? The the, the wizards? Uh, <laughs> Legalize nuclear bombs. Shadow wizard. It's Shadow wizard gang, isn't it? Shadow wizard gang. We love casting spells. Boom. Oh, I think I'm missing an egg. I'm missing an egg. Oh, there's one. Is that it? Did I do it? Claim your reward. 
A yellow key card. Wow. Amazing stuff. I got a feeling that when I turn around, the planks are going to be destroyed and the bird's going to be gone. But, you know, maybe maybe I'm shooting my shot a little bit too high there. Because, like, to, to craft a scene like that, you'd need to be just an amazing game dev. Hammer. Distraction at one. What is that noise for the menu opening? Are you trolling? Okay, he's still here. Surprising. Hi, Pyro. I don't have a GF, so can you tell Madison that she's ugly? Uh... Okay, Madison, you're pretty ugly. I'm sorry. He did give me $13. The first guy only gave me a uh, six. I'm sorry. I had to do it. He did pay more money. So you don't equip the hammer. You just press E and it falls down. Great. Great. Press space to jump. Appealer Bird says, laughter is the best medicine, so make sure you smile. Wow. Thank you, Appealer Bird. Do I, do I sit on this? I want to make content, but everything I'm interested in is either dead or dying in the eye of public interest. Should I keep going or am I just a poopy butt baby? Make videos on whatever you want. You shouldn't worry about views until you make it your job. Okay, so uh, th this is obviously a place made for children because you have the fucking sheer drop into death and oblivion down there. Of course. What a very safe place to be. I don't even really understand what's... What was my color? Oh, there's another note. I want to play with Hole. I alone. I want to play with Hole, but... OMG, I cannot wait for the changed stream exclamation mark furries rise up. Yeah, it's not happening. But everyone left me. Everyone have party without... This isn't even hand wrote. This is like, they put it in Photoshop and then they use the warp tool. Miss Mason, see me, but go. I am scared because Hole is loud and my friends scream in it, but Bird is funny. <laughs> average, average Twitter user though. Just words. Okay, so what's my color? So are you telling me I can't reach through that hole and grab that key card? Amazing. Holy shit, you just came out of nowhere. That was like the best jump scare in the game. Okay, so that was, that bird's pink. You're like blue. Yeah, you're like orange. So I think that was already your default color. Okay. You're green. Uh, you're white. I did it! I did it! Key card. I did it! Oh, sc scary noise. Scare- What the hell? Are you joking? Are you actually joking? Is this- Are you- You're- You're joking. There's like an invisible wall just looking at me. Okay. So I'm gonna just go this way. What, what are you gonna do? He's just waiting. That's kind of based, actually. Okay. Oh, is it? If I look at you, you do you. I've never been less intimidated by a monster in my life. <laughs> oh, H, H, literally, literally me, H. Me when I me when I see a pigeon and I've got no bread. 
Yeah, that was... That was awful. I just like how there was no build-up to that as well. Like, there's even... There's an invisible wall here, so I can't even go this way. Oh, he's gonna... He's gonna get me! He's gonna get me! No! So he can even get you when he's on the... On the thing. So, he, he doesn't even, like, bite you or anything, right? He just screams at you and then you die. H. I like how it just says H when you die. They just didn't even think of the, uh... They didn't even think of the, uh... The death screen there. Like, imagine in Dark Souls, you die, it just says H. Oh... The bird is coming. The bird is coming. No! I sometimes get awful nightmares. The worst one is actually being from the UK. JK, keep up the good streams. I just gotta wait for this to turn red. Thank you for the uh, seven, Lee. <laughs> okay. Yep. So you're gonna wait there, right? Oh, are we not? Are we not hitting it? Yeah, we're hitting it now. Okay. So I'm gonna go this way. And you're not gonna follow me. Oh wow, there's like epic chase music. And he can't even get off the platform. Oh, I'm being chased by a bird! I'm being chased by a bird! Oh my god, it's coming! He's coming! Oh, nice. Yep. Just just a, a blockade here for some reason. So what do I die now? I I yep. Yep. They put an invisible wall. Not even like a glass plate or a door. They just put an invisible wall. Are you you're actually joking. I can't even make is fun of that. Is this the new chapter of Poppy Playtime? It is, yeah. They kind of ran out of budget, though, because no one bought their NFTs. No one bought their NFTs, so... So what am I meant to do? I'm... I guess press that red button there. I just like how they turned... They, they put it into an invisible barrier. Oh, my God. The bird, it has, like... It has like human eyes. Oh, it's, it's like Jeff the Killer, but a bird. Oh my God, it's coming, it's coming. I need to, I need to hit this. I need to hit this, please. The bird, it's, it's going to kill me, please. UAV drone. I, I just don't get what this game is. Like I'm being chased by a bird, but it's like, I, I've got a UAV drone from like Warzone. I you Siva for two months. Right, I guess I hit, I hit this, right? No! We lost him. We lost another one. I can't believe it. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Poor fella. You can't even jump on the seesaw. Like, it just pushes you off. Amazing. Yeah, I I wanna I wanna get a H in chat, guys. That was really sad. The end is here. Is it though? What's the name of the game? Uh, Puppy Playtime Episode Three. <laughs> this drone just does not work. Okay. I think I already hit the button, actually. Is it this one? Nope. Oh, it's this one. Okay, what's in here? It's a TV screen. Uh, there's a computer. There is also a note. Boarding pass. Youthman Adam, class E, D2, to Madrid. And I'm very sure if you scan that QR code, it probably takes you to their merch page. Oh, there it is. I don't know what that did, though. Oh, hit. Is this AI generated? Th this does feel like an AI generated game. That's actually a really good comparison. 
There we go. <gasps> it's lowering. Oh my god. Can we not go in here? No, it's literally blacked out. I don't think you meant to go in there. It's all, it's all blacked out. Is it going to be a jump scare? I hope so. I can't even go down there. Wow. Yep. If Pyrocynical got a desk job, would he be Pyrocubical? With the UAV drone. There's, there's going to be a big jump scare now. There's going to be a big jump scare. Oh my god. What's happening? Oh. Oh. Oh, scary noise, scary noise. Scary noise. Is there another f flashing light? Flashing lights! Oh! Oh! Hand! Hand! Green thing! Broccoli! Broccoli! Wow. Phenomenal content. I will definitely be buying episode two after buying a mug and a shirt. Thank you, $1 for seven months. Thanks for playing. Wishlist the... <laughs> They were just that. They knew. They knew that they got everyone by the balls with how amazing that game is. They're like, episode two, we will be doing that. I like how they smoothed it out. They smoothed out the character here in Photoshop. It looks like one of those, you know those TikToks where they just like re-upload part of a TV show and they just sharpen it way too much? So that was uh, just absolutely terrible. Okay. Thank you, Drew, for joining. Oh yeah, Drew, what's up, man? Oh shit, four months. Four months, goddamn. Your character going further down into the kindergarten is a metaphor for how low the bar has become for indie horror. Yeah, that was, uh, that was, I, I can't even just, I can't even make any fun of it. it, it that, that, that just sucked. That sucked. Like, people are kind of saying that mascot horror is just dying, and I can, I can totally see why. I can totally see why people think that. Because uh, that was kind of lame. Kind of lame. I get it with video games. Like, video games are very hard to get into, like, as a designer. Thank you, uh, Halligaz, for joining. Yeah, I, I get it that as a designer, like, video games are actually genuinely hard to get into, right? But at the same time, like, come on. That's just so lame. At least put some kind of effort in there. Like, you know it's bad when I can't even think of anything, like, funny to say about it. Uh, I got another video here. I actually wanted to... Oh, hang on. We got some donors. Hello, XQC big fan. Can you please do the thunk shaker? Many thanks, XQCL. What is that? Brian, when I die, I want my tombstone to read just the letter H. Uh, thank you, Kenny, for four months. Oh, shit, Drew, I didn't even realize you gifted five. Thanks so much, man. Yeah, I just saw that now. Thank you. Hang on. Uh, I need to try to get a second channel video out. Uh, okay. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, so there is something I wanted to watch, and I don't know if you've guys if you guys have seen, but GoldenEye has recently been re-released onto Nintendo Switch and onto Xbox, but it sucks. It sucks. Like it is it is not good. It is not good. Smile more. Why would I have any reason to smile? I'm a YouTuber. It's so bad. Yeah, no, because they had the they had the HD remake. They had the HD remake. Uh, apparently with GoldenEye, they remade the entire game to look good, and they just didn't release it because Nintendo were like, "You you can't be doing that. Not with our IP." Because it's half owned by like Microsoft and it's half owned by Nintendo. It's really weird IP. Could you look back at the game called Severed Steel? It's on Steam and Epic. Play Dead Space. I, I did. I finished it. I finished it. Very good game. I got a video coming out on it uh, later today. It is broken though because of the amount of crashes I got. I was unironically getting like five or six uh, crashes through that whole game, which sucked. But Severed Steel is amazing. I'll check it out. I'm so tired today. I uh, I overslept on accident, and you know when you oversleep, you end up being more tired than if you didn't get enough sleep. It's the like oversleeping is actually the worst feeling imaginable. I kind of thought to myself like, oh, I could just I could get like one more, I get one more hour in bed, and then I wake up like three hours later. Okay, let's uh let's watch this. Let's watch this uh, video on Golden. GoldenEye because I'm pretty interested to see what happened to it. I got linked this. Uh, GoldenEye. Da, 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 da. Yeah, GoldenEye is a mess. Okay, let's try it. Damn, he giving us the 4K. He's spoiling us. GoldenEye 007 is back, officially released for both the Xbox and Nintendo Switch. And let's get right down to the point. While both versions are good, they could have been so much better. And while so I, I do want to say, by the way, apparently with these games, you can't buy them. You have to have. So what this is, they've released GoldenEye on the PC, on, on the Xbox Series X, but you, it's through Game Pass. You can get it on PC and also on the Switch. But... It's the equivalent of renting a game from Blockbuster because you can never own these. You install them and apparently with Nintendo, you need to pay the online fee, the monthly fee to even keep playing this game. And then with the Xbox, you need to keep paying for Game Pass. So this is a game that people have been begging to be re-released for years. They've done no technical or graphical improvements apart from maybe the control scheme. And then you can only rent the game. You can't even own it. Like we're, we're literally going back to Blockbuster. Certainly faithful enough to the original source material. And overall, I think both versions are of a decent quality, especially for the- One thing that annoys me about this as well is there was a game that came out called Perfect Dark. Hang on. So there was a game that came out called uh, Perfect mm. Dark, right? This was a really good game. I played this so much on the Xbox 360. I never played the N64. But what Rare did was they remastered the game or remade it or whatever, graphically improved everything, and then they put it out on the Xbox Live Arcade years ago. But look at the comparison here. The left is... The left is on the N64, and then the right side is the Xbox. But it, it's night and day, literally. Like, you could argue that the Xbox One looks a bit too glossy, a bit too flat, but I, I think it's such a huge improvement. But yeah, they just got they got so lazy with this uh, Golden Eye because Golden because Perfect Dark is only popular because of Golden Eye. So they had the chance to remake this game and they just they just didn't. Or well, they did, and then Nintendo wouldn't sign off on it. It's just the fans. It's 2023, and we expect better. Soul versus Soulless. Night. Yeah, I I love that argument. Eh? It's always about nostalgia. <gasps> Literally, anyone that says Soul. You present the argument, old le good, new le bad, and they, they cannot contend. They cannot they, they cannot compete with it. Because that is literally what you're saying. Uh, less pixels, less polygons, oh, nostalgia. It's nostalgia goggles. 
1997 version of the game on the Nintendo 64 is legendary and needs no further. Also, I want to say, look at this guy playing this on the Switch. Look how terrible his aim is. The version of the game on the Nintendo 64 is legendary and needs no Look how further terrible discussion. his aim is. I I'm going to say I played GoldenEye on an N64 controller years ago. Uh, it was terrible. You cannot play that game. Playing GoldenEye on mouse and keyboard is amazing. It is one of those games, like first person games, excel on mouse and keyboard. But on, uh, on a controller, it is... It, it, you're like Hank Schrader having a panic attack. You just can't. You can't. However, it's... Well, one thing they also pointed out, which is kind of funny, and people would cheese this, is that the AI in GoldenEye in Perfect Dark is so bad to accommodate for you, they would only go for body shots, like torso shots. So if you peeked around a corner with your head stuck out, they'd just be shooting at the wall for like two years. Complicated licensing issues meant that it took some false starts and years of negotiation and waiting until it was officially announced to be coming back as a first ever console release since 1997. That in of itself is huge, as many of us believed that GoldenEye would be lost in licensing hell. And in today's episode, I'm going to give you my thoughts on the good and the bad of GoldenEye 007 on both the- I just don't know how you could celebrate that this game's back though, because it's like, you're not buying it, you're having it to rent. Like, you could so easily emulate this game on the PC with no hassle, it would look better, it would run better, and then you've got the ability for mouse and keyboard. Why would you keep giving Nintendo more money? I, Nintendo seems to be this company that just absolutely despises its player base, but then the player base will just keep like, you know, like literally the I show speed gift. Box and the Nintendo Switch. Today's video is brought to you by- I'm sorry, I don't care. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. On a Amazon and off oh my and god he gave us homework he you. gave us homework get right down to business both versions of goldeneye that is the xbox and nintendo switch are running emulation i do want to show this as well uh hang on so apparently there was a remake for goldeneye that they made but they weren't allowed to release it uh now there was a goldeneye that came out in uh there was a goldeneye game that came out and i think like 2012 and it looked terrible uh, because it was basically a Call of Duty clone. It was made by Treyarch that made... Here it is. So th this is it. And apparently they weren't... Oh, thank you, Dismantle, for joining. So this is apparently what they made, and they weren't allowed to release it because of Nintendo, because they shared the licensing. But you see how the one on the right looks so much like Perfect Dark? I think this is real. I think. Side-by-side -side comparison between the newly released Xbox Series X emulation and the unreleased Xbox 360 remaster. So it's not a mod. This is them, like, they basically remade the game, improved it, and it actually looks decent. It still has that thing that Perfect Dark did where it all looks a little bit flat. But, like, yeah, that actually looks amazing. And they weren't allowed to release this. And that's on the Xbox 360, bro. But yeah, no, we've just got tube guns. Like, I get it. I mean, you know, like, there's nothing wrong with the original GoldenEye. Like, it looks fine. You don't need to graphically overhaul it. I'm just more annoyed about the fact that, like, you can only rent the game like it's a blockbuster. And both have been developed by different studios. Code Mystics handled the Xbox port. Their in-house developed N64 emulator powers other releases in the Rare Replay collection, and the Nintendo Switch version is bundled with the Nintendo Switch Online service that has been developed by Nintendo Europe R&D division. It looks like Time Splitters 2. Yeah, yeah, it does. And Time Splitters 2 is actually a really, really good game. What this means is, other than the launch date... Free Radical Design was probably hired to remake GoldenEye first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because Free Radical made Time Splitters, so... ...being simultaneous, there's really no parity between these versions. For example, the Nintendo Switch version features online multiplayer thanks to its built-in online features. Honestly, if anyone here in chat played the original GoldenEye on, on N64, you deserve a medal. Because like I said, when I went to... I, I went to Sweden and they had like an arcade bar, right? And in that arcade bar, you could rent out a machine and then you could play uh, GoldenEye with an N64 controller. I have no idea how you can play a game like that because the aiming in it is absolutely atrocious. It's just dog shit. 
And then even if you got into a multiplayer game, everyone would pick our job anyway. If no one knows what this bit is, if no one knows what this bit is, in multiplayer for GoldenEye, you could pick your own character. And there was a character in it called Odd Job, this like Asian guy. And he was half the height of all the other characters. So that means he has a smaller hitbox. So anyone that was a sweat would pick Odd Job, run around the map, start karate chopping everyone because you couldn't get a shot on him because the aiming was absolutely atrocious. You have a better chance of doing the interstellar docking scene single-handedly than getting an actual shot in in GoldenEye. So everyone would just pick Odd Job and like no one would win but the Xbox version doesn't support online multiplayer at all. The Nintendo Switch Wait, version no... has no additional enhancements made other than the 16x9 widescreen support, which was already built into the game to begin with, <laughs> but it still required it to be updated on the emulation side to support it. And the Xbox version... Cla classic Nintendo. They added nothing new and everyone will still rejoice. Take my money, please, Nintendo, please! ...version has a much improved control system that is very welcome in 2023 and up to 4K rendering. However, this is all against the base N64 textures, which are of a much lower resolution. And this upscaling introduces artifacting such as Z fighting, visible edges, seams, and texture issues. That looks terrible. As a result, both versions have their own unique problems. The Nintendo Switch version runs well with smoothed out performance. But keep in mind, it's capped at 30 FPS. And while it's quite good, 30... the biggest issue with the Come Switch on. version is the controls. They are almost so you're... unplayable. In... How, how old is GoldenEye? It's like 19 years old or something, right? And they still can't get it to run in 60 FPS. <laughs> in its default state. Now, as someone who's quite familiar with the game and played it many, many times, for me, this is muscle memory. But for most people, the controls are just not good enough. GoldenEye plays best with a Nintendo 64 controller. It just hurts so much because you can just emulate it for free. You can emulate it for absolutely free. And I actually thought Nintendo added in the... I, I, I thought they added in the uh, the widescreen support, but like he just said, it's already built in. And while the game does take advantage of the N64 controller for the Nintendo Switch, this item is practically a unicorn, and many of us simply don't possess one. There are guides that can help you with a somewhat decent remapping of the game, but no matter which way you go, the controls just aren't right. It's a shame that Nintendo couldn't implement a default dual analog control scheme in the game, as I don't feel like it would have taken too much effort. But here we are. The Switch can't do anything in 60 FPS? Surely there's a game on the Switch that, that's 60, right? Is, is there any game that's 60? The Switch sucks. I, I, honestly, I keep seeing TikToks on my page where it's like someone will be like, oh yeah, I remember I have a Switch two years later and they play it for like five minutes and they're like, oh shit. There, is, there isn't a single game. Smash. Oh yeah, Smash is 60, isn't it? Yeah, Smash is 60. Rain World? I mean, Rain World is just... Rain World is pixels. <laughs> like, come on, that's not... The Xbox version, on the other hand, controls like an absolute dream and i really like how it feels no it has a smart control scheme and the game has okay okay guys you heard it here first you heard it here first in a parasitical stream the xbox has a game the xbox has a game and it wasn't even theirs originally been modified to handle this i also like the 16 by 9 support here in the game as well and there are definitely some moments where the game can look quite good on the other hand like the switch version the xbox port has improved frame rates, but caps at 30 FPS. Honestly, the fact that you can't buy the game outright and you have to rent it, and as soon as you stop paying for online, you get locked out of the game. For Nintendo, that's really lenient and nice. I actually thought what they would have done with GoldenEye is turned it into an episodic game where every single episode you have to pay like $20 to play. Now, let's be honest. It's 2023 and we expect better. In fact, some community PC emulators such as 1964 which incidentally has been around since look at the that early look how smooth that runs has had the ability to not only run goldeneye at 60 frames that per is second, like butter but to also enhance font textures which are a bit of a blurry mess on an upscaled xbox you can clearly see the differences here and while this isn't perfect it would be closer to something that many of us expected to see The worst thing is about people that mod. They do it for free. They do it for free. You got to pay Nintendo for that dog shit. You got to pay Microsoft for that dog shit. 
the, the modders have done this for free. Okay, they might put a Trojan on your PC, but you know, it's, it, it's a small price to pay. Code Mystics claimed that 60 FPS broke things during their development, and as is the nature of emulation, I certainly believe them. Things do need to be rock solid when you ship a game, and possibly this was the case of not enough time or budget to flesh out a 60 FPS version. But I have another thought and opinion on this. Simply put, my belief is that the agreement made to bring both GoldenEye to the Nintendo Switch and the Xbox meant that the game could not be brought to either console with significant enhancements. And here we are. The Xbox has better controls, but gives up online multiplayer. The Nintendo Switch has online multiplayer, but there is no enhanced control scheme. So the Xbox runs better, has no multiplayer, which is like, that's not a deal breaker, but that's like, I don't understand why that isn't a feature. That's really stupid. And then the Switch has multiplayer, but it's Switch multiplayer. So it's basically you having to go into your Twitter group, your Discord group, and then being, hey guys, you want to swap friend codes? Lamau? What, why does Switch not do that, by the way? Like, you still can't properly search for online multiplayer games, unless it's certain titles. This whole, like, swapping friend code stuff is so stupid. And both versions of the game do not run with an uncapped frame rate. The Xbox version also has frame pacing issues. GoldenEye has... You have to pay money to play? Yep. It's always been a difficult game to emulate correctly. What's wrong with that? Are you joking? What do you mean what's wrong with that? Like trading friend codes? Is this the 1920s where like, I've got to send like pigeon mail to my friend to talk to him? Correctly. And this appears to be a part of the dynamic recompilation cashing up its next block of... Nintendo fanbase be like, I, I can't meet strangers. I can't, I can't do it. I can't search for a public game. Instructions. Drops like this are common with emulation, so it's possible that it's occurring here. The frame pacing for me is the single most annoyance of the Xbox version, and I do hope that it can get patched. In some cases, I feel like I'm walking in quicksand. I also mention graphical issues such as clipping, warping textures, Z fighting, and visible edges. Now, I don't mind the textures being very low poly. They do look really bad upscaled. Like, they look ass, but I don't really mind it. What I do mind is like the random portals to hell opening up with the little black tiles and stuff. To be clear, all these are present in the original N64 version. Increasing native resolution oh, that's a good headshot, only though. amplify these issues. That's a good headshot. Making it more distracting to the player, especially if they haven't experienced the original game before. But this is only a good reminder that uh, Rare indeed developed an look unreleased what we could have had. native Xbox 360 what we could have of had. for the Xbox Live Arcade all the way back look in Look what we could have had. You can still see the visual updates this version brings to the game. Sadly, this version appears to have been abandoned and both Microsoft and Nintendo refuse to acknowledge that it ever existed. Personally, I'm not sure why. So they did the equivalent of like, you know, when you boot up like a, a mission in Black Ops and it starts to put like a black sensor bar over the location and stuff where you are. They've just done that with this. Like I have no understanding. This get this was finished. It must have been like a tax write-off. You know how like, you know how Batgirl never got released, that Batman film? They didn't release it even though it was finished because if it, if it doesn't reach consumers and doesn't make a profit, they can write it off against taxes. That, that's what I think. That's why I think they actually cancelled it. This version wasn't used as the baseline for this release on both the Nintendo Switch so and good. the Xbox. For starters, this version is a port of the original source code and there is no emulation at all. This means developers have more control over frame rates, textures, lighting, AI, controls, multiplayer. GoldenEye 007 XBLA is one of those releases that many of us were expecting to resurface as the basis of this 2023 update, but sadly it wasn't to be. Now I do want to be very clear that this is not the fault of Code Mystics. Ah, oh, look at that though, man. Look what we could have had. That actually looks like Time Splayers. 2023 damn. update, but sadly it wasn't to be. Now I do want to be very clear that this is not the fault of Code Mystics. That were it's like they they put the game together and then they realized Nintendo owned half the rights and it's like wait a minute you you want to give it to these guys? For free? Oh, $20. No, 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 no. $90. And then every mission must be episodic content. Every gun must have its own DLC behind it. It's almost like they couldn't agree on how to rinse nostalgia out of like the towel as much as possible to make more money. So then they just scrapped the entire game out of like spite. 
Thank you, Annoying Dreamer, for the seven months. What they had. It's just that, like everything else about this release, it could have been so much better. The sound in both versions is good, but not great. There was a little bit of a scare where Nintendo posted a clip on Twitter that appeared to be the poor screen with missing instruments, but fortunately all this is fine in game. Over on the Xbox, the sound is pretty good, but does appear to be somewhat compressed over the original that has a much cleaner and larger dynamic range. Nitpicky, sure, but some diehard fans will definitely notice this. We also mentioned that the Switch version is- It reminds me of, uh, thank you Brotherhood Knight for joining. The, uh... I got a feeling when Xbox and Nintendo realized that they actually found the source code for GoldenEye in the trash, they probably all just looked like this, realizing how much money they could make out of it by doing absolutely zero effort. This, is, this would definitely have been them, by the way. Definitely. Without a shadow of a doubt. So wait, wait, wait. Remake GoldenEye? No. I, I just found a disc of the original of the trash. Let's just copy it and upload it onto the server. And then we make them pay. And then we make them pay a monthly fee. You're paying a monthly fee to, pay, to play a 19 year... What is that? What, what, what is that in numbers? What is that in numbers? 26 year old game. 26 25 year old game 25 year old game this game came out the year i was born this game came out the year i was born and they make you pay a monthly fee to play it ah oh, just ah. 007 is baseline for this release but some diehard fans will definitely notice this we also mentioned that the switch version is available on the nso service and the Xbox version is available as an update to Rare Replay, and is also available on Game Pass. However, this is also a frustration that I have. It's clear that the powers that be don't want you to actually own a copy of GoldenEye. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So this got released on the Xbox, Rare Replay, and this was basically an accumulation of every game that Rare made, right? Rare is the company that made like good games before they got absorbed into Microsoft and just made shitty Kinect games. You got Banjo Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts, not the original Banjo Kazooie, the one where you made cars that was complete just dog shit. Uh, uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day, but it was the Xbox One, so that was shit. Uh, Toad thing, Perfect Dark. Uh, I remember that game. I kind of forget. Grabbed by Ghoulies. Uh, some or Camino or whatever it was called. But there's no Golden Eye. That, that is such a good point. I was going to pick up this rare replay, but then I realized they have no golden eyes, so no. I don't know what they are so rent free about anyone owning a physical copy of golden eye. They hate it. it like, 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 do, does Pierce Brosnan have like a team on standby ready to sue them or something? I, I don't get it. Rather have a way for you just to play it. For those that own a physical copy of rare replay like myself, I was expecting to be able to download an update and play it. This game only permits you to play it if you've purchased a digital version of Rare Replay or on Game Pass. So for those people that own a physical copy of Rare Replay, unfortunately, you will not be able to play GoldenEye. It's as simple as that. It feels like right. this game is being paraded. I'm not, I'm not even joking when I say pay money, money stolen. You, you are, that, that is a donation you are making to Microsoft there because you are getting nothing. It around as some type of showpiece and then who knows what's going to happen in the future. Once these online services disappear, GoldenEye will disappear along with it. And that is a shame. In conclusion... That, that, that's another good point. You're never going to own it. So once the servers go down, that's it. You, you can't own the game anymore. What we have here isn't bad. It has its issues, sure. But the fun factor and nostalgia is certainly not lost here. The game hasn't aged well. But damn, it's still fun to play all those years later. Overall, I, I can't wait, it, you know, in The Last of Us, HBO, I can't wait for the line where, like, you know, Joel complains saying, oh, yeah, w w when the power went out, uh, the food banks ran dry, the water ran dry, and then I couldn't play GoldenEye on my Nintendo Switch because the servers went down. Aged well, 
but damn it's still fun to play all those terrible absolutely terrible the actual, like like you're, you're just donating money to a company at that point garbage 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 uh there's something else i wanted to see as well hang on apparently there's been a fat update on that you know that billy mitchell guy Hello? The guy that uh, was caught cheating and then he sued the uh, record company. The company that keeps track of all the world records for speedrunning. And he sued them and he won. Okay. Um, Billy from regular show. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they turned him to a regular show. But oh, hang on. We got a ton of donos. They got paused for some reason. Hang on. Brian, Byro, you missed my last message. Gosh, you have any tips for a guy who loves creating content but hates editing and can't finish a video without hating it? Uh, Thanks, glumps plus kisses. Make some money and then hire an editor. That's why. Have I did. you seen the Ina Dream Barbecue game trailer? It released a few days ago. In a it's dream. about a game that looks like what LSD Dream emulator, but better. I haven't heard of that. Nintendo fans are the cringy homeschooled kids of the gaming world. Abused but sheltered so they don't know they're being abused lol. Nintendo does something cool every 10 years and the fanboys rejoice. The 1964 emulator that lets you play GoldenEye 60 FPS any resolution with mouse and keyboard existed for over a decade. I can't afford heating but I can afford pyro tips. I've messaged you on Twitter asking for link to Dead Space Stream. Can you please send me the link I beg you? Dead Space Stream, uh, that's, uh, the video Speaking is going up like right now. You should check out Kaze Emanuel's fixing the entire SM64 source code. He is a muscular wizard when it comes to optimizing Mario 64. I can check that out. Jesus, I'm so tired today, man. I, can, I got one recommendation for you guys, man. Never oversleep. As soon as you wake up, that is your body basically saying, I've had enough rest, get out of bed. Because I, I, I slept by three hours, three extra hours, and I feel awful. Awful. Oversleeping, I would actually rather not sleep for a day than oversleep. Jesus. It just, it, it does something to you. It does something to your fucking body, man. Ten push-ups right now. Ten push-ups right now. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do ten. I'll do ten. So strong! I like how I'm reading chat and the only person that said it's bad form is my editor. The only person saying that it was bad form is my fucking editor, by the way. <sighs> Disappointed. How is it bad form? So everyone's saying bad form or they're complimenting my feet. <sighs> play Pizza Tower. Well, I don't know what Pizza Tower is. Someone asked me to play, uh, watch a Sunny video. There's nothing new uploaded there. Look it up. Pizza Tower. <laughs> what is this you linked, Oliver? It looks like H3 Bull Rider. What 
the hell? No, it looks like an earthworm gym. Uh, got some more donos. Hi, Pyro. Happy to see you. Have you heard of the game Visage? It's too scary for me. Yeah, I've installed it. I haven't played it yet, though. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a drill. Chris Chan, the world merger, has been released from custody. I repeat, Chris Chan is a free. Ah. Whatever his pronouns are now. Has he actually been freed? Has he actually been freed from prison? Christine Weston Chandler. I know that there's there's a series, there's a YouTuber doing a series like compiling Chris Chan's life, and I swear it's on part like 63 or something. It's actually insane, like how much has been collected from that person. Right, I want to watch this though, because uh, you guys might know the, the Billy Mitchell thing. You probably know him. Hang on. Uh, so you got Billy, Billy Mitchell. Who's this? Okay, that's the guy from EastEnders. That, 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 that's not. That's not the right one. That's a British thing. This guy got the world record for Donkey Kong, and then they found out that he was cheating. He sued, and because he's got a lot of money, he won. But I know him because they put him in a regular show episode as a guy that plays a video game, and then he cheats. I got a website, website blocked during due to a Trojan. Unlucky. Um, yeah. So so they put him in like a regular show episode as well, like playing some game or something. But uh, yeah, this guy's basically got a lot of money. He's very powerful. And he basically sues anyone that says uh, bad words about him. Hello, you absolute legends. In 2019, video game player of the century Billy Mitchell sued Twin Galaxies for defamation after they removed his high scores from their database and said he didn't achieve them on original hardware. For almost four years, this lawsuit has dragged on. Basically, they, they proved that he was running an emulator. They, they, they pulled his record because they said, what you're playing on right now, the stuff that's happening in the game that cannot happen in Donkey Kong ever. You are running an emulated version. I think it was like pixels flickering or something like that. And thankfully... But this lawsuit is still going on. I think it actually wraps up this year. For everyone involved, it looks like it should be wrapping up and going to trial sometime this year. Ah! Uh, I just said that! I just said... What the hell? I just said that! Oh my god. I should, I should make YouTube videos. What the hell? The crux of Twin Galaxy's defense so far has been centered around two videotapes that show Billy's high scores. And it's been proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that the game... Garrett Bobby Ferguson. That's right. In, in in regular show, they didn't call him Billy Mitchell because they would have got sued as well, so they called him uh, Bobby Ferguson. Gameplay seen on these videotapes cannot come from an original Donkey Kong arcade. Instead, they must have come from an emulator. Billy Mitchell seems to have lied and said he played on an arcade machine when he in fact didn't. And this opens up the possibility for cheating in numerous ways. In his lawsuit against Twin Galaxies, Billy claims these videotapes don't matter because he achieved the scores live and he has witnesses. How is it possible that he performed them at a live event in front of hundreds of people if he faked it and actually played on an emulator? The videotapes must be fake or are not his actual <laughs> gameplay or should just... So... His cope isn't that they got the information wrong. His cope is the entire information they provided is just made up. It, it, it's like that that guy on the security camera with the beard and the Jesus hair. It wasn't me. That there was just, that there was another guy playing that just had the Jesus hair and the beard. Thank you, Engineer Cyrus, for the what is Huff? What currency is Huff? Four thousand Huff. Hello, Paro. Uh, the beanie and the hat family arrived. They look awesome. Just want to say thank you for the content. You somehow always cheer me up. Being nearly 40 comes crushing nearly every day. Oh my god. Oldest Paro viewer right there. Holy shit. I thought all you guys were like 10 or something. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the $10. Oh, it's $10. Thank you for the $10, man. Appreciate it. Damn. I, I have no idea that I have people watch that are nearly 40. That's like... 
That's like a quarter of Colossal's age. That's insane. Just be ignored because he has real people that say he really did it and they saw it happen so it must be legit. Wait, As wait, 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 what was, what was that? That's not his actual gameplay or should just be ignored because he has real people that say he really did it and- Okay, so he's trying to make an alibi for himself by saying my, my friends saw me get the world record. That's fine. It, I like how there's no names, no sources given. It's like, oh yeah, no, there, there was a guy. Some guy saw me. It's, it, you know, he's some friend. He saw me do it. That That's two sets of eyes. I, I, okay, I, I didn't cheat. And they saw it happen, so it must be legit. As Billy said in his lawsuit, if everyone is lying, it must be a conspiracy akin to that of the Kennedy assassination. But here- <laughs> Why? I saw it happen, so it must be legit. As Billy said in his lawsuit, if everyone is lying, it must be a conspiracy akin to that of the Kennedy assassination. <laughs> so he's basically making it out. He's coping that bad that if he goes down, the entire government, a reptilian people, and the Kennedy assassination was an inside job. And 9-11 was probably an inside job as well. I, I like that. I like that. That that's I thought the YouTuber was saying that like as a kind of a joke, but he has put that on his actual court document. But here's the problem. The videotapes were the only tangible evidence these scores ever happened. So that's all anyone had to go off. Aside from the tapes, it was just people saying that it happened, which really doesn't cut it. There was no footage of Billy actually playing. There was nothing to indicate that he was even there or that he played at all. That is, until now. For the first time in 15 years, photos of Billy Mitchell at one of these events where he claims to have a- I'm pretty sure this guy, this guy was in on it and he got fired, I'm pretty sure. This is the guy, the referee that gave Billy the record for like the highest score in Donkey Kong. And I'm pretty sure it got proven that he was in on it and he got fired achieved one of his world records have surfaced and i'm not going to beat around the bush these photos absolutely destroy billy's case yeah it's todd rogers that guy's also a cheater paid referee actor i mean no he literally was the equivalent of a paid actor yeah he is done there is no more doubt billy will lose his lawsuit these photos do more damage than anything that has come before them and i'm not exaggerating even if you disregard all of the videotape evidence, Billy's world records would still be disqualified and he would still be banned for lying just because of these photos. So how is uh -oh. that even possible? Let's find out. Thank you, Tommy, for the 10, 10 quid. 10 quid. I'll get you fish and chips that, mate. I really hope you enjoy. I'm about to ruin this entire man's career. Hope you enjoy. Probably be a sponsor. Now, Legends, I am super excited Just because this video segment. is sponsored by okay. Magic. Okay. It's just not you guys are actually going to think I pre-watched this video. I, I didn't pre-watch this video. There actually was a sponsor segment straight after. 100% legend. <laughs> go to wentwingalaxiesband.com slash legend to get $5 off today. When Twin Galaxies banned Billy Mitchell in 2018, they did so because of videotapes showing two scores. The first is a 1.047 million point score Billy achieved in 2004, known as the King of Kong score. It's called this because this score is featured in the King of Kong documentary. The second is a 1.05 million point score Billy achieved- I like how it's playing the Mass Effect 1 music when you're searching for planets. This is the music I want to hear when someone like takes down my entire career. In 2007, which is known as the Mortgage Brokers score. This is because he supposedly achieved it at a Mortgage Brokers convention. The videotapes for both of these scores show footage that isn't legitimate. This is a fact, and it's why he was banned. But aside from that, there was no other evidence. This is a. I mean, look how grainy Billy's footage is compared to the actual, like, the arcade recordings and stuff. That's t like, it's so easy to. Min like, look. It's not even flat. Fact, and it's why he was banned. Thank you, Pyro, for the content. You made my day. Uh, love your long essay videos. When is the Cruelty Squad coming out? Also, trans rights. Trans rights, so true. Uh, the the Cruelty Squad video. Uh, it's it's what I'm trying to do now is basically record a bunch of second channel content so I can keep my editors busy so I can then actually do Cruelty Squad. But basically, I I need I think. One to two days with Cruelty Squad. One to two days. 
and then it will be done and then i can actually start you know voice recording and getting all the youtubers together and stuff uh kaijin thank you for the 80 dollars holy shit mlg teletubbies too so true but aside from that, there was no other evidence that Billy even played the game, aside from a few people saying it happened. Well, to be completely- I know this is judging someone entirely on appearance, but he doesn't look That's like someone- That's why he was banned. But aside from that, there was no other evidence that Billy even played the game. He doesn't look like someone that actually plays video games, right? Let alone getting the top world record for one of the hardest games of that, like, era. He just looks like a, a used car salesman. Aside from a few people saying it happened. Well, to be completely fair, the King of Kong score actually does have zero witnesses. It's the mortgage broker's score that Billy has a few witnesses for. And it's this mortgage broker's score that we now have photos for. So let's take a deeper look into this. Of course, as the tape shows the score wasn't done on an original arcade, we'd assume he didn't actually get the score at the event. But for a moment, let's forget all about the videotape and humor Billy's argument that the tapes don't matter. In his lawsuit against Twin Galaxies, Billy submitted five witnesses- Wait, he was there for the premiere of Pixels? The Adam Sandler film? What? That- That is just so- The comedic timing on that man, that they had Billy Mitchell appear at an Adam Sandler film. They- he- he- he must have knew. He must have knew. Statements saying they were at the event when the score happened. Two of these statements are from people who worked at the convention. They just say they were there when it happened, but they don't say they actually saw him get it. And they aren't even Donkey Kong players, so they have no idea what's going on anyway. <laughs> so the eyewitness testimonies are people that don't play video games for a living. They just wandered in there on accident. Thank you, Tommy, for joining. We all know that Billy likes to lie in public as he recently showed, so a random person thinking a score happened when it really didn't doesn't mean much. So we can disregard those two statements. This leaves three witnesses that say they directly saw him get the world record. The first is from a guy called Richard Malian. He says he watched Billy's score reach beyond 1 million points and that he saw him achieve his targeted score. Richard is actually a childhood friend of Billy's. In fact, no! he appeared opposite Billy in the school yearbook. It's but over. But let's not hold that against him. While it is common for friends to lie for each other- It's over. He got the childhood friend excuse. This is the equivalent of pulling like Eric Cartman from South Park, like when you're in your 20s and I mean like, yeah, I, I knew this guy. Uh, please, please lie. Please lie to the people for me so I don't get sued. Other, let's not assume that's what happened. Now, when I'm deciding whether or not someone is trustworthy, what I do is create two columns. One for your side, common for friends. I, I don't know why he appeared opposite Billy in the school yearbook, but let's not hold that against him. While the fact that he talks and he uses his hands, he's like a Sopranos character. <laughs> I saw my guy Billy. He does not cheat. He got one billion, one million score. He got one million score on that machine. He does not cheat. My boy Billy would never cheat. One for yes, I should trust them, and one for no, I should not. Then I put things into each col- And then he just asks for, for like a, a place of gabagool. Thank you, uh, Lillian, for joining. Uh, six months. Cheers. ...and weigh them up at the end. So first, I can see that Richard dresses really well. <laughs> he has a nice suit, and he has a nice watch. No one who dresses this well could lie. So I'm going to put that into the yes column. For the no- Okay. He's just being, he's literally just being snide now. He wears a nice suit. He doesn't lie. Column, there isn't much I found out about Richard that really concerns me, except for this super tiny detail of him pleading guilty to conspiracy, securities fraud, money laundering, and criminal contempt in oh. 1996 after an FBI sting operation. That's a lot. I mean, it's probably nothing, but it would be remiss of me if I didn't include it. Hang on a minute. Billy Mitchell wears a suit, and he also got done for fraud. Oh my god, I, I get it now. I get the comparison. Back to the yes column, Richard just seems like a super friendly and nice guy. I mean, no one who looks <laughs> this happy could lie. So this has to- Richard360.com! Richard360.com! It's, it's like those people, it's like those people that like, put their Twitch username. You, you know, like Dead by Daylight, they'll have their name and then like, TTV? Like, no, no, no one is checking out your Twitch, bro. No one. Like, the only person that is checking out your Twitch, if you put it in your name, is the guy that you killed so he can report your channel. So this has to go into the yes column. 
Now, looking at the no column, I'm going to be super nitpicky here and include this other small thing. And look, maybe this is being too judgmental, but I'm going to go ahead and add to the fact that he was charged again with fraud in 2019 by the SEC and had to pay back $750,000. It's probably not even worth bringing up, but again, I just want to be fully transparent. Dude, he had to pay back like one NordVPN sponsor. That's insane. 750. Aren't. However, I must say that Richard has some really good motivational quotes on his Twitter feed. I mean, look at these quotes. Our lives are not as limited as we think. They are the world. They are. Okay. English. Our lives are not as limited as we think they are. The world is a wonderfully weird place. They are truly. And it just says below, I was sued in contempt of court for $750,000. Inspirational. And he put his name in bigger text than the person who actually said the quote. So when you think about <laughs> And he put his name in bigger text. <laughs> he just yoinks a quote from Albert Einstein, adds a palm trade. He's like, yep, that's that's transformative. And just puts his like watermark at the corner. Than the person who actually said the quote. So when you think about it, who said the quote really? I'm gonna have to put this into the yes column. Okay. Now I should pro The fact that he got compared to an office bit, it's over. It's over. Once you get compared to a character from the office, it, it's done. It's done. About it, who said the quote really? I'm gonna have to put this into the yes column. Now I should probably leave it there. And at this point, I really am not being fair to Richard, but I'll just add one more thing and I'll let you decide. In 2021, Richard was unfortunately arrested for conspiracy to commit fraud. Look, he has just not been lucky when it comes to fraud. He keeps getting caught. I, for one, do not hold this against him. When I look at this table, board, he keeps getting caught. I, for one, these people they keep they keep framing me. They keep framing me. I, 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 I didn't do anything wrong. Pretty even. Personally, I'm leaning towards trusting the guy, but you let me know. Uh, he's actually a character from The Sopranos. He gets caught in an FBI sting, and it's like, hey, what are you gonna do about it? Hey, give me the gabagool. In the comments, what you think? Okay, so Billy's first witness is a bit sketch. Who's number two? Billy's second witness that says he saw him get it is Todd Rogers. Oh boy, this is not going well. Okay, hit me with number three. Surely we're going to get a winner. The third witness that says they saw Billy get the score is Kim Mahoney, who is also Todd Rogers' girlfriend. I'm going to be completely uh, honest here. I'm getting the impression... Okay, so that's the guy that cheated who refereed. So his girlfriend saw it as well as him. Yeah, it's over. It's it's actually over for Billy Sells. It's it, it it's over. It's it's over. And that Billy's witnesses may not be entirely trustworthy. Anyway, let's take a look at these new photos. Remember, this is the first time we've seen any footage of Billy at this event in 15 years. So there's Billy and Todd, and Billy's talking to some dude, and that looks like the Donkey Kong cabinet behind Billy. It's got a VCR on top, which is how they recorded the score. It Context, uh, his key witnesses are a childhood friend that's been done for fraud multiple times, and also the guy that was refereeing the match, the guy that's been proven to be a liar, he's basically a paid actor. And then the third witness, which was meant to like turn the tables, is the referee's girlfriend. So it it yeah, not not good. It's 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 not looking good. It's not looking good. It, it's the equivalent of going to court, and then your eyewitness is the imaginary friend you had when you were twelve. It all looks pretty legit so far. There's Billy and Todd posing with a couple of people. There's a camera that was recording Billy play, even though that footage doesn't seem to exist for some reason. Here's Billy and Todd posing again with the thumbs up. Maybe this is just after Billy got the world record. I have to admit, everything here looks pretty legit. And oh my god, what is that? Uh oh. Uh oh. What is it? Is it an emulation that joystick kit? is not an original Donkey Kong joystick. It's this over! This arcade machine does not have original, unmodified Donkey Kong arcade it's hardware. It's over! This is an original Donkey Kong stick. It's got a big black ball and a short column. The stick on Billy's arcade is a tall stick with a smaller ball, and it's obviously red. So the stick undone, has been changed to something else. Undone up. by a joystick. Undone. Undone by a joystick. Undone. That is... <laughs> he is 
tried so hard to win this. He's been suing people out the ass. He's probably put millions of dollars into a good lawyer. And then he's undone by a joystick. Else. On top of that, it appears to be an eight-way stick. Now, the original Donkey Kong stick is four-way, which means it can only go up, down, left, and right. But an eight-way stick, like the one you would find on all modern arcades, can also go diagonally. When it comes to Donkey Kong, an eight-way stick fundamentally changes the way. I think Billy Mitchell is the perfect example of someone that just keeps lying to dig themselves into a bigger hole. And they, they think if they dig deep enough, they'll just end out on the other side and be absolutely fine. Like, okay, so we've all, we've all done a little bit of lying, right? Like, like we've all told a, we've all told a little white lie. Like, you know, uh, I've had uh, I've only had three cans of Monster today when I've had five instead, and that's why I'm jittery so much. But my point is, how can you lie for the? How how long has this been going on for? Like, fifteen years or something? It is insane. Like, and he must genuinely go to bed every night. That, that's why in all the pictures, he looks miserable. He looks miserable because he just knows it's going to come crashing down. The game can be played. If you want to steer barrels while on a ladder, you have to stop and hold left or right because you can't go up and to the side at the same time. So his entire career was ended by a big red ball. A big red ball brought this man to his knees. Time. But with an eight-way stick, you can continue to climb ladders while steering barrels by using the diagonals. With an eight-way stick, you can do things you can't do on an original arcade, which is why they are banned. So not only is the stick not original, which was totally banned, it looks like an eight-way stick, which is extra banned. And not only would Billy's world record still not count because of the modified stick, but Billy would still also be banned for lying about it. Just joined. Is the game good? Uh, it's amazing. And oh boy, did he lie about it. His entire lawsuit against Twin Galaxies is based on the premise that he played on unmodified original arcade hardware, ah. which is categorically not true. Not only from the videotapes, but now from the photos as well. And his lawsuit is full of lies where Billy claims the hardware was unmodified. And not just Billy, the referees who adjudicated the score lied as well. Todd Rogers and... It's the equivalent of those little kids that play Roblox and they, you know, they, act like they don't cheat, but they've got some like external hardware that gives them like no clip and shit, and, like 10 billion Robux. And his girlfriend, Kim Mahoney, both say in their sworn statements that Billy played on- I just like how the third witness is the guy's girlfriend. Like, they're really, what? Honestly, if it was up to Billy to write that lawsuit without the guidance of a lawyer, he probably would have just said fucking random people on the street that walked past and glanced inside the store like, oh, they're, they're, they're witnesses. I'm Billy Mitchell. I'm innocent. Modified hardware. Everyone just got caught out big time. And it gets even worse because these photos don't just affect the mortgage broker's score world record. They also affect the King of Kong score as well. This is Robert Childs, who is also a longtime friend of Billy Mitchell. For those with a very good memory, this is the same guy that was in the infamous fake board swap video. He has been lying on behalf of Billy for years. He is part of the con artist clique. Robert Childs runs Arcade Game Sales, which is an arcade retailer in Florida. Arcade Game Sales is important because this is where Billy claims he achieved the King of Kong world record on an arcade cabinet provided by Robert Childs. Now, as part of his- I'll, I'll be honest, I don't think with this situation, I don't think Billy is like being bitter just to come out on top. I think it's because if he loses this lawsuit, he's going to hurt his wallet so much because like, look at this here. Look how many sponsors he has around him. He's got like Barstool, uh, that, that Barstool company, uh, King Kong, Nintendo sponsors. He must have so many sponsors just because of the fact that he's got the world record for Donkey Kong. And then once it gets proven that he's a liar, all those sponsors are going to disappear. He probably makes enough money to live comfortably by doing basically nothing apart from giving the occasional talk. Arcade game sales is important because this is where Billy claims he achieved the King of Kong world record on an arcade cabinet provided by Robert Childs. Now, as part of his case, Billy Mitchell also submitted a sworn statement from Robert Childs. And Robert states in 2003, he helped Billy by providing an arcade machine. He swore that this was an original Donkey Kong arcade machine. He says the same machine- You're muted. Yeah, I, I would have believed that if it wasn't the same guy spamming it 50,000 times.
Kid was used when. Also, you have a diary of a wimpy kid profile picture, so I wasn't going to believe you anyway. Billy got his King of Kong score in 2004 and says the same machine was used again in 2007 at the mortgage brokers convention. This means. His hair looks ironed. Oh, yeah, no, he's basically one of the three people on earth that I can say. He actually has a worse hairstyle than me. <laughs> that not only is the mortgage broker's score disqualified because it was a modified machine, but because Robert Child swears it was the same machine used in 2004, the King of Kong score is disqualified as well. Billy Mitchell, Todd Rogers, Kim Mahoney, and Robert Childs were all lying about the arcade machine that was supposedly used. And now, it's proven. You may be wondering why Billy would lie about something that can so obviously be disproven. He looks so tired, man. He looks so t You know what? He must think of himself as like Lord Gwyn in Dark Souls, and he's just waiting for someone to just come up and like end it all. So we can finally be put to rest. And the answer... He's so tired of lying, you can just see it. ...is that Billy didn't know these photos existed. In fact, the entire Donkey Kong community didn't know these photos existed. They were only made public recently, and not by Billy Mitchell. These photos were never made public, and they were only retrieved now by directly contacting the organizers of the convention, which luckily still had them. I cannot stress enough how damning these photos are. Even if you were to disregard every single thing that has ever been said about Billy being a cheater up until this point, based solely on these photos, Billy would still lose his lawsuit against Twin Galaxies. His records would still be removed, and he would still be banned, because these photos show his records are not legitimate. I cannot wait until this goes to trial, and you best believe that when it does, I'm going to cover it. I'm excited, and I think you should be too, because this is going to be a lot of fun. As always, thank you. Why does he just always wear the same shirt and tie? He always has like, he always has a tie with some American iconography. Like it's the Statue of Liberty or it's the, the American flag. Bizarre, bizarre. Poor little baby. I'm Billy Mitchell, I'm innocent. Uh, yeah, the Pixels poster was so genius though. Just like being associated with that film. It's almost like Adam Sandler was like, yeah, we, we know he's guilty. Let, let, let's get him on, it'll be funny. Uh, Attention Pyro Chat. We must do a coin flip on whether Pyro should play Ultra Kill or Hi-Fi Rush on stream. Then we can watch him still not play it. I think it's funny that you call of us six-year-old iPad kids, when your big videos are ours too. He looks like Morbius, crying face. This is what the movie should have been. Okay, uh, chat, I'm thinking, thank you, Chris, for joining. Do we, uh, have we got anything else to watch or should I finish off Signalis? Because I do need to finish off uh, Signalis at some point, I think. I definitely got to finish that off. Sunny V2. Uh, I had a look at his channel. There, there, there's nothing I want to watch. There's, there's not really anything that interests me uh, that he's uploaded recently. I think the latest one was Joe Rogan or something. It's just, I, I don't really care too much. Um, I do need to finish Signalis though. Cyrus Controversy. I, I just heard he deleted all of his videos and stuff, which is... Yeah, it's never a good look. Alton N, thank you for joining. Mystery Flesh Pit. That, that's a bit of a watch, though, isn't it? That's long. That's really long. Mystery Flesh Pit. Yeah, Wendigoon covered that. Uh, I might watch that at some point. Probably not today, though. Um, 
challenge for a new video watch very inflation morgues quibble cup nice xqc title yeah that's the point is literally is meant to be an xqc bit uh yeah if i don't see any good suggestions in like two minutes i'm gonna uh boot up signalis because i do need to finish that off If I could recommend anything along the lines of a watch along, it's Highway 35. It's turning 20 years old this year, and I believe someone even made a whole Eurobeat edit of the first movie. Highway 35, okay. Uh... Play Amoros? Oh, I thought you said Among Us. Yeah, to deleted content. Okay, I'm just gonna boot up Signalis because uh, I I do need to I do need to finish it. I do need to finish it. I think we were on track to get the good ending. I'm gonna be shit at it though because I actually ow 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 my funny bone ow. I need to. Uh, I haven't played it in a minute, so I gotta get used to the controls and stuff again. Chat saying L. No, he didn't play Quibble Cup instead. No, he didn't watch a Quibble Cup video. Okay, let me get this on a screen share. Bum bum be dum bum bum be dum bum 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 be dum. Right, I turn the lights off because it's scary. Oh, it's scary game. Oh, it's so scary. It's a scary game. Right, I. It's been a fat minute since I played this. To be fair, is it? Why is it still black on screen? Why is it still black screen? Hang on. Dude, the urge to play TikTok music on stream right now is actually insane. I really wish you could play music without it being copyright claimed. I'm an actual child. Bum, bum, be -dum, bum, bum, be -dum, bum. Isn't that a Rihanna song? Thank you, Wes, for joining. Uh, are we going to be nice? Are you going to actually show the screen? You're going to be nice. There we go. All right. Yeah, I haven't I haven't played this in like a minute, so I uh it, it's going to take me a second to get refreshed with it. Jesus, this has been a while since I played it. Okay, so how do you change guns? All oh, right. So we got the Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's actually been so long. It's been so long. Shit. Uh, okay, so I know we got the chest where you can store items. And we've got a lot of stuff in here. Med injectors. Yes, seven. That's really good. Repair patch. That's a spray plus. That was terrible. That isn't needed. Uh, the pistol has got ten bullets. Signal flare shells. Just restart? Nah, that game's too long. Uh -oh. Thank you, Bird, for joining. It's actually been so... I don't think I've played this for like a month. I have genuinely... Is the screen black? Do you guys see the, uh, you guys see the screen, right? 
Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, Jesus. I don't even know if I can play this on stream because it's it's been so long. I'm actually forgetting everything. Oh, God. There was like a radio function and shit as well. All I remember is jumping down there gets you the bad ending. And there's a way to get the good ending, but there's like some puzzles and stuff around here. Maybe I'll just jump down. I don't even know where to go now. Jump down, there's a boss. Yeah, but there was something with like a ring, wasn't there? Like a, like a wedding ring, like putting a wedding ring on a, on a statue or something. Okay. Maybe I just stole the ring. Right, someone said there's a boss coming up, though. The Among Us noise? Okay, I've got a shotgun with no rounds. I've got a 10 mil with some rounds. Nitro Express. Uh, a flare to incinerate targets. Shotgun's got no ammo. Maybe I'll take that. And then I take some uh, flares. That might be enough. I'll save. I'm trying to get past them without actually, like, being attacked. Oh, okay, anyways. Right, let me jump down. Oh, spooky! Oh, right, okay. Hello. Ow. I gotta reload. Uh oh. Uh, I'm out. I'm out. I mean, surely that does something, right? Wait, am I meant to talk to her? No. Nope. I might not have bought enough ammo for this fight. Oh, she's got a gun. Shoot it! Is she... Okay. Did she get knocked out by how strong the blast was? 
<laughs> That's what it looked like. The blast was that strong. Literally just knocked herself out. Classic. Is this Roblox? Yeah. Okay. Not too bad. Uh, thermite flare, they're decent. Pistol ammo, I'm assuming. Yep. That's not too great, but whatever. Can I take... I can't even take the gun. The rifle Issa was carrying. It's chambered in some sort of ridiculous anti-armor cartridge. No wonder the recoil knocked her out. Ah, oh, it was the recoil. I think that's the Nitro Express I got in here. I don't have the gun, but I got the ammo for it. It's a uh, blue. There it is, yeah. Nitro Express. Yeah, okay. So that, that that's what it's for, like the hunting rifle. Uh, okay, revolvers, toast. Uh, flare I'll probably put away. I could take some of the, uh, I could take some of these though. Yeah. Where are they? Where are they? I had three thermite. Oh, they're in my inventory. I'll take the pistol. Pistol isn't that great, but it's got really good ammo. Yeah, 25 is insane. All right, we'll do that. Can I not talk to her? She won't wake up. She's died! May she rest in peace. Ah, oh, what was this? This was the, uh... Shit. That was a code on the radio. I remember it upstairs. Okay, I might cheat and look it up. I'm gonna cheat. Because I, I did do this last time I played the game and I actually solved it. But then I... Uh, it's actually been so long that... Uh, it's It's been so long that I actually don't remember. Uh, I'm looking it up because I'm a dirty little cheater. I did solve the puzzle. I did solve the puzzle is what I'm saying. But, I kind of forgot, because it's been so long. Hello? Right. Okay. Can't grab any more 10 mil. Why can't I grab more 10 mil? I've got... Are you... I've got a... What? I've got a... Okay, that's a bit stupid. So, even though I've got three inventory slots left, I can't carry more 10 mil ammo. That makes sense. Ow. I'll kill one of them and thermite them, but I'll leave the other one alive. She's like covering the body. Unlucky. Burnt, 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 burnt. Oh, this is new. What the hell is this? Pick up the plate of balance. Uh, heavy hexagonal stone. It feels warm to touch. Oh, shit. Oh, I need to replace it with something else to get it. Okay. Yeah, and then it'll let me go. Okay. <laughs> I'll drop these off the Nitro Express. I'm getting so many of those. Uh, repair. I could probably just use two of them now, I think. Ah, 
I only needed uh, one. Store, and then thermite, I'll keep one. Pistol ammo, I'll keep uh, everything else. I'll just kind of leave in there because I don't really have any ammo or anything. There was another plate though I had, right? There was another plate I had in here. So that's the plate of eternity. Ah. Maybe I use the doll. I might use the doll. The empty doll. Because it's got some weight on it. And that might actually work to trick it. So I get that plate. Let's try that. Okay, that's going to then shut it off. Uh, maybe? Yes, there we go. Wait, are you trolling? What? If only she could jump over that little barrier. No. So even though it closes, it doesn't accept it. That's so weird. So it, it lowers it, but it doesn't open it up. That's, yeah, that is weird. Not heavy enough. It's empty inside. I see. It needs to have something inside it, right? Just to kind of give it a bit more weight. Yeah, okay. All right. We'll come back to that. I think your TTS is broken. Nah, it's not. It's just mods on letting letting it uh, in right now. Hang on, let me. Uh, there's a couple. Hang on. If you want some more analog horror, the channel Vintage Eight makes good short series. Hi, Pyro. I'm a girl viewer. Shocker, oh, and my shit. friend is really down bad, and I want to set him up with a girl. As a furry inflation enjoyer, any tips to get a girlfriend? Sincerely, a female pyroid. Damn, new cry of fear looks sick. Right, I can only burn. Uh, Voice, I... dear Pyro, I am a female viewer. Shocking, I know. My friend is really down bad and as a furry inflation enjoyer slash a degenerate, how did to get a girlfriend? Any tips? Sincerely, Nicole, Yahoo. Uh, how did you still get a girlfriend? You'll always find someone as depraved as yourself if you look hard enough. <laughs> always. Uh, there's no map. I only burnt one of those bodies. I don't really want to burn the other one because I, I just want to kill the big one. Oh, there's another ring. Okay. No space for shotgun. Oh, yeah. Shit. This looks like a big room. What? That hurt me? You're cho Okay, that's like barbed wire or something then okay i could have explained that to me video game well there's barbed wire every oh wait hang on shit that does a lot of damage as well okay let me let me come back in here let me come back because i need to get that shotgun ammo as well so just give me a second I think that's the only problem I've got with this game is the inventory management is like really, really bad. You've got six slots, which is the same as Cry of Fear, but like all of your stuff will be used. All of it. Like a gun and ammo to spare, that's two slots already. Healing, three. Half your inventory is already gone. And then there'll always be some kind of mandatory story item you need. One or two, that's, that's five. And then six will just be stuff you pick up in the world. Which I don't even know what to have now. I guess I'll just keep the pistol. Right, I'll try not to actually touch this stuff now. 
What's the game? It's called a uh, Signalis. Okay. So left. I just got to keep an eye out for that uh that wire. Okay, so that's going to hurt me. Here it doesn't. I I don't know where to go from here though because there's wire there. Then there's wire... Oh, wait. Maybe not up here. Oh, right. It keeps going. Jesus, it's dark. Over here, maybe? Okay, that works. And then down. Now there's some wire there. I can see it just about. You know what, you know what I need? I need I need the flashlight. I can't see... I, I can't see this shit. I need to go get the flashlight. Yeah, I can't see shit in here. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, the... That, that's like the only criticism I have of the game. The backtracking is just fucking insane. It was, it's, n I've never played a game where it's this bad. Because it's like, you don't have an item that you think you need. You gotta go back, you gotta get it. You gotta go back, you gotta get it. What am I? I've actually never been put onto Amber before in this whole game. So that barbed wire absolutely fucking annihilates your health. Right, hopefully this works. Still orange shit. Okay. Shit, okay. I really don't want to make that mistake again. I'm burning through health right now. Right, let's try the flashlight. I forget what it is. What it is to actually equip it, though. There you go. It's C. Okay, it's C. All right. Hopefully this lets me see a little bit better. Ah, oh, yeah, no, I can see way better now. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I couldn't see a thing before. There's a hypo. I'm basically just getting back everything I fucking lost now. There's a hypo there, but you can't get to it? Look, every single thing's... B is that bait? That's literally bait. Every wall is, like, blocked off. That That is actual bait. No space. Oh, my God. Yeah, just the, the backtracking is absolutely insane. Because the, the flashlight takes up a space. I got a flare to burn a body in case I need to. I picked up one shotgun. I picked up two shotgun shells, inventory full. Yeah, the, uh... Oh my god. Yeah, I think that's kind of why I actually put this game down for a, for a minute. Just because the, uh, the backtracking in it is just comedic. It's a very good game, though, it is. I really like Signalis, but yeah, just this... Because Cry of Fear had that issue. Cry of Fear was like a key would take up the same amount of inventory as like a sniper rifle, which doesn't really make sense, but it's whatever. But with Cry of Fear, it would only ever be like a singular key or something that you'd need at all given times. The slot should open up when... You, yeah, no, the, the, the flashlight shouldn't take up its own slot, really. I mean, it did in Cry of Fear, but Cry of Fear didn't. The thing is, this game has such a bigger focus on... Uh, because Cry of Fear, there was only one way to heal. It was syringes. So that's one slot dedicated to healing. You had a gun. That's another slot. You probably had spare ammo. Another slot. And the flashlight, the phone flashlight, was also another slot. But it was only like one key at a time. With this game, it's like three or four key items at a time. So just running back constantly to get shit. Uh, okay, let me just get rid of that flare. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Because I've got ten shots in this pistol, right? But I need to carry spare ammo because that's not going to be enough to kill someone. Or maybe a singular enemy, but not a group. I'm just, uh, I'm just going to combine these two here. There you go.
And now, I have to do it all over again. Play of flesh. And then I need to go get the key. Rusted key. Nice. There we go. I'm working on a hardcore mode for Cry of Fear, since the development for version 1.7 has been cancelled I need to know if people would be interested in this. Would you be interested in playing this mode? Hardcore mode? I mean the final difficulty was pretty fucking hardcore, but I assume that would just be if you die you lose everything, because what was it on the hardest difficulty? You could have three saves. Okay, plate of flesh, rusted key, I'm gonna store that. Uh, I'm gonna grab some more pistol ammo. And then, uh, I'm gonna... So I got a rusted key. This too shall pass. So death do us part. This too shall pass. Oh, this way. Oh, this is where the boss was. Yeah, nothing else in here. That's where the trap was. Yep. Okay. So what about this way? Signal flare. And then we go up. Where are we now? Repair spray plus. Unlock the door. Oh, we're back at the beginning. Right. So it did all loop back round. Okay. That's not too bad then. There's another door. I'm just gonna cheat again. Oh shit. I've got one inventory space left. Um, yep. This ain't too good. Oh my god, there's so many of them in, the, in here. And there's a guy with a fucking mining laser. Oh my god. There were so many in that room. And this room, I need a flashlight. Hello? Okay, I'm just gonna walk and follow you. And nothing bad will happen. Do not turn around. Do not turn around. That's right. Yep. Okay. I will simply go through here. Oh, shit. That's what I got left. Eight. I can't see him. There he is. <laughs> Unlucky. Yeah, they stay dead, I think. The other two are going to get up. 
Grenade shells. Oh my. Oh. The backtracking is really, it's really getting to me, man. It's really getting to me. I'm, I'm, I'm getting really sick of like having to get a single item and then run all the way back to a safe room to drop it all off. Like, that's always been a thing in like Resi and stuff, but in here it's it's next level. You can never go into a room and take everything because you just don't have enough space. I just hope there's a safe room nearby because uh, I kind of can't be asked to keep running back. This room's new. Ah, oh, this is where you put all the plates, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we know where to put them at least. Unlock the door. This is the flesh pit that we jumped down to. Okay. And the... Safe room is... Down to the right, I think. Okay. So I've got I've got a little bit of an understanding of where we are now. HE rounds. Thank you, cute onion, for joining. Okay, signal flare shells. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the pistol, and then I'm going to. Have I got? I got one more of those left. Uh, flare gun, how many flares have I got? I've got three flares. So two and then one in the chamber. That's not too bad. Uh, I've got two plates. I could take those with me and drop them off. Flesh and eternity. Okay. I'm going to burn that body in the room. Didn't I need the flashlight for something? I did, yep. Yeah. Okay. There was a room that was really dark that I needed the flashlight for. Oh shit, I've got no shotgun. Fucking idiot. I gotta drop something off then. Uh, shotgun's empty, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then I take the flare. Yep. Okay. We good. Oh, oh, oh. oh, fuck's sake. Literally covering the door. Fuck off. So let's drop the two off here. Uh, use the plate of eternity. Uh, and the flesh one. Hexagonal. Uh, hexagonal. Yep, yeah, okay. So we've dropped off the two we need. We've got two slots free. Got the key. Um... Now there was a door on the bottom left that was like... Oh yeah, let's burn one of these bodies. I'm gonna burn this one. There you go. I'll burn like the bigger one. Okay, some stuff in here. Repair spray, probably just use that straight away. Incense, that's probably a story item. Locked. So is our inventory full now? We got one space left. I might try and grab that. No, 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 no. No, that was not. I would have been fucking nanaid. Uh, what's these? Oh shit.
Serpent ring. Shotgun rounds. Honestly, the best thing I can do is just try and like play like it's zombies, right? Just try and round them, get them around corners and stuff. Fucking hell, I'm actually gonna die. Oh. I really want that loot in that room, but it's just so not worth it. It's so not worth it. Because that loot, it will literally take me all my ammo to get it. Is this expert? No, there's no there's no difficulty on this mode. There's no difficulty. It's it's all the same. Uh, I might try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. And it, it, if I, if it goes to shit and I don't do it, I'm gonna. If it goes to shit and I don't do it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop playing. I think. Because I'm not, I'm not really vibing with the game at the minute. I don't want to play a game that I'm not uh, vibing with. But yeah, like that shotgun there is just bait. I will still take it. How did he hit me? Why can't I go in there? There we go. Oh, Lord, I'm going to die. Thank you. Ah, oh, who gifted? Thank you. Uh, I can't even fucking see your name because the window's so small. Q Onion. Thank you for the 10 gifted, man. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to stop playing Signalis at the minute. I, I don't know. I'm just not really vibing with it. That's like the first time I've ever had to stop playing a game. It's not a bad game, but I think like because of how fucking difficult that game is, I think I almost need to start from scratch. I need to start from the beginning of the game uh, and jumping into it now after like a two month break. Yeah, it, I, I don't know. I wasn't feeling that. I wasn't feeling that at all. I definitely need to start that game again. It, it's It's been too long. Is there a way you can check? Nah, it just says last played today. But I definitely played that like over a month ago because it is a very good game. But uh, I just wasn't, I wasn't vibing with that at all. Uh, Hi-Fi Rush. I might do that actually, yeah. Okay, fuck it. I did buy it earlier today. Let's do Hi-Fi Rush. It's 14 gig. Okay. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard really good things about Hi-Fi Rush. And, like, stream was just begging me. They were begging me to, uh, fucking play it. Uh, during the dead space. Let me just go for a piss and then we'll, uh, we'll do high fi Rush. Oh wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. I uh I just checked the I just checked the group chat. I just checked uh the boys group chat while I was pissing. And apparently some streamer was like a streamer called Atrioc apparently uh he was looking up deep fakes of Pokemon or hang on. I got to see if I can pull this up.
I gotta, I gotta look at this. This sounds great. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Dennis, I know you are watching this stream and I want to say I know that you slept with someone else and I'm packing my stuff and leaving. That's quite unlucky. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, I'm just looking now. Apparently it's on Dextro's Twitter. One kiss is all it takes. Okay. Apparently this is it here. Uh, Twitch streamer Atrioc issued an apology after accidentally revealing that he watched deep fake videos of streamer pokemon and maya i mean who cares about deep fakes but yeah if it's like deep fakes of people that like you're friends with i guess it's a little bit woozy. <laughs> okay okay let it let it be known let it be known okay i'm not judging anyone's tastes i for a long long time have lost the ability to judge anyone's tastes a hundred percent I, I am not here about that. I just think it's absolutely hilarious that he's doing it from for like his friend, looking up deep fakes of his friend. <laughs> Face Kuma. Let's have a look. Stream to like create a pattern of behavior where I really want, especially women on Twitch to feel safer. Like I, uh, we call fucking booba spam cringe. We don't do that. Thing. Oh my God, he's crying. Like fucking weird. I don't know. Seat sniffing. Why is she crying? Did something, did someone, wh wh why is she crying? Is, is that his, I don't know who Atrioc is, by the way. I've just heard of him before. Because I saw people on Twitter comparing me to him. Hang on. I'll see if I can find it. There was a tweet of someone comparing me to him. Uh, that's, that's how I knew about this originally. Hang on. I'll see if I can find it. Ah, oh, here it is. No, wait, that's not it. There was something about like, something about us both being degenerates or something. I I don't know. So so what 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 did he do? He just did he? Okay, because I I don't want to be making fun of him. And there's more context. Did he do anything else, or did he literally just whack off to a deep faker Pokemon? Is there like more to this that we're missing out on? He is ex Twitch member streaming on YouTube. He is Le Wholesome Hitman streamer. He he paid for access to a website that does streamer deep fake porn. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a certified hood classic. I just don't know why he's crying. Like surely you just own it and be like, yeah, I'm a fucking degenerate. Joe, I've never done anything like that. I've never done anything like that on a stream. And we don't tolerate any sex behavior in the chat. We, we ban it on site. And, uh, and like, I've done this consistently over and over and over. And then fucking at 2 a.m., you know, I've been, I've been watching so much fucking, I've been reading so much fucking AI stuff. I'm reading all this fucking stuff about AI and, and, uh, and fucking fake music, fake art and everything. And I'm in these fucking discords. Deep, deep fake porn as well. Deep fake porn. And I was... I just feel so embarrassing. I don't but know I on... why he's crying. He's making it so much worse. Like when everyone... Everyone found that what I whacked off to. I was like, ah, shit. Anyways. Fucking Pornhub, dude. I was on a fucking regular ass normal fucking website. <laughs> and there was an ad. There was an ad on every fucking video. There was an ad. He's blaming an ad. For this fucking... So I know other people must be clicking it because it's on every fucking video for fucking deep fake thing. And then I stream to like, I'm sorry. I'm so I do like, he's crying. I get that. And I, I do feel bad for the guy. Cause he's obviously just distraught over this. Right. But like who clicks on a Pornhub ad? Who does that? You get an ad on like any of those websites, you know that you are getting a, you are getting a Trojan on your PC. If you're lucky, 
you are never clicking on those ads. But he clicked on the ad and he was like, what a good product. I'm going to consume that. That, that. That's the more worrying thing out of this whole situation. What happened? Uh, apparently he got caught like whacking off to uh, a deep fake of Pokemon. Not actually doing it. It's not like a DSP thing. But apparently there was like... Uh, he alt tabbed oh here you go this is the frame leaked by the streamer where a chrome tab containing an adult site featuring a deep fake video of pokimane and maya higa can be seen let's see obs <laughs> oh man oh man my poor little fella i just don't know why they're both crying i don't know why they're both crying anyway <laughs> The top reply, anyone got the link? He's based. I don't, ah. Uh, Jesus. It's, uh, the thing is, it's awkward, right? Because it's like you're, I'm assuming they're friends, right? Or they're in that same sphere. I don't really, like, the, the American side of YouTube and that, I'm not in that sphere at all. Like, I'm not connected at all. So I don't know what their relations, relations are. I'm assuming they're at least mutuals. I just think it's kind of funny. I don't really think... I don't know why he's crying. Um, I, is that his girlfriend next to him, by the way? I don't even know why, like, she's crying. She's, like, crying on his behalf. Create a pattern of behavior where I really want, especially women on Twitch, to feel safer. Like, I... Yeah, I don't... I don't really understand the whole... Oh, it's his wife. Ah, right. Ah, that's not good. Yeah. Ah, I see now. Yikes. Okay, I thought that was his girl. Okay, yeah, wife. I mean, she's like, oh, she's like crying for him. I thought she'd be like, you know, berating him. Maybe the wife was like, you need to kind of come out and talk about this because you're whacking off to other women. Yep. Ah, uh, yikes. Should have just done what everyone else does and just commission art. Jesus, right. Twitch streamer Atriok gives tearful apology after paying for deep fakes of- I can't believe I'm reading a Dextro article. I'm reading an article from the people that talk about PewDiePie for a living. Popular Twitch streamer Atriok has apologized after briefly exposing that he had visited a deep fake website <laughs> that included inappropriate deep fakes of female streamers, including Pokimane and Maya. Uh, on January 30th, a clip claiming to expose Atriok gained traction. Oh, let's have a look. This will be on LSF, right? Yeah, it's always LSF. No, it got removed. It got removed. This is a sensitive topic. We have to be more strict. We've removed all mirrors and all screen. Yeah, no, I mean, it is it is a deep fake of like a real person. So that kind of makes sense. I get that. Okay. The, the one time LSF actually made sense. The one time. That and the fours and clips. I wonder if there's anything here that's actually talking about like... Cutie used to pay some company 2k every month to have deep fakes and Kuma content of her deleted from the internet. Why would you want... I, I just see it as free exposure. I mean, I'm coming from like a complete degenerate mind. Keep that in mind, but yeah. 2k a month to have deep fakes and Kuma content deleted. Are people really that horny? For women? Looks like a seat just opened up in the stream once. <laughs> His Discord is now locked for messages. Oh, I just love the difference, eh? Like, I literally get reminded every single day about <clears throat> what I whack off to, but... Yeah, he'll he'll get some hardened skin. It just takes a while. I, I guess there's another layer to it, though, because you have a wife, and also it's someone in your circle. It's it's kind of a, an uh, awkward turtle. Awkward turtle. It's very awkward. I don't think, I don't know, I, I still don't get the crying though. I thought like someone died. Oh, really fucked up, especially if it was his actual friends. I see. A truck earlier this month. Is set up for an absolutely monstrous 2023. So remember how every single person on the internet was getting involved in crypto and NFT? AI is set up for an absolutely monstrous 2023. So true. So true. I like how he's clean shaven there as well. It's like those TikToks you see with the Sigma music and it's like they instantly grow a beard and they just become all depressed. Imagine being rich enough to be able to afford multiple PC setups, but instead you choose to masturbate where you work. That's the most Reddit comment I've seen in my entire life. Like, who cares? Just make sure you've got your... 
What, 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 why do you need a whack off PC? Just, just make sure you have your camera turned off. You do a DSP. All right, see the next episode of Mogul Mail. His offline chat is wild. Oh. Poor guy. Poor guy. I like how the... Uh, so of course, Reddit is the one that goes, yeah, he should have had a multiple PC set up. That wouldn't have happened. I have a PC set up just for crypto mining. This is so embarrassing, he explained. He had taken a keen interest in AI deepfake technology. Uh, but I was on a regular website. There was an ad on every video and I click on it and I'm in this. It's just admitting that you clicked on a Pornhub ad. Are you joking? I never click on an ad and I have never once been recommended an ad that has appealed to me ever. Ever in my life. Like, I think I, I think I looked up, uh, like something about weight loss, uh, training or like eating better, like getting a better diet. And then I get recommended like anabolic steroids in my, in my ad feed. It's like, I, I, I think it's because I use a VPN so much. Like they have no idea what to actually target me with. But yeah, I've never once saw an ad that actually makes me want to click on it and just think, okay, this actually appeals to me. Thank you, E, for the two months. Same. What, you got You got an ad for steroids? I made that up. That was to call you out. Unlucky. Unlucky. I mean, he has all the money in the world. Why wouldn't he just look at what it is? What do you mean? Your kink is so niche, there's no ads. Yeah, true true i mean from the catastrophic l that it is that's a small w that i can't be targeted with ads so that's fair that's actually a good point do people not use ad block uh some people don't i don't think i just kind of use it all the time the only ad you'd get is for a bicycle pump no the only ad i'd get is for your mother on craigslist I got morbidly curious. God, that is just... Ah. Following the apology, some have been more sympathetic and supported his claims. At the time of writing, none of the streamers featured have commented. Yeah, no, they won't. I They, they might do a cheeky little unfollow to him, but I think that'll be it. You know, I've been, I've been watching so much fucking... I've been reading so much fucking AI stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Why the crying? I just don't all... get the crying. Like, it's fucking awkward, but it's not, like, career ending. It's like, ah, he jacks off to weird stuff. I mean, I'm not joking. You pull up every single streamer, every single YouTuber, and you, like, you, you find out what they're into. I reckon it'd be, like, one in four of them are complete degenerates. It's probably one in three, actually. Cutie's Ludwig's GF. Yeah, I know, but it, yeah, yeah. Cutie wasn't mentioned though. It was uh, Maya and Pokimane. Maya's the one that's dating uh, NMP LOL. No, is it? Is this the same Maya I'm thinking of? Or no, no, no. I'm thinking of someone else, aren't I? How is that Jeet, Jeet Do commission? Very good. Thank you. QT and Maya are best mates. Yeah, they're all kind of like tightly. Uh... Malene is dating an MP. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I you can really tell though, right? I'm not in that Twitch sphere at all. I I I, I lurk it and I try to understand it, but I'm not. I'm really not in that sphere. Even though my audience is mostly American, like I'm not in that sphere at all. Like I'm still trying to kind of get to grips with it. Oh no, the Reddit. They're hitting it with the table slap. <laughs> Not the table slap. No, what are you doing? How could you? Tries to build a safe environment for women. I, yeah, I don't get that. I don't get the whole trying to build a safe environment for women. It's like, it's not, is it just, I mean, I mean, okay, okay, chat. I don't think it's that deep. I don't think it's that deep. 
it's it's weird coming from me by the way it, it's weird but it's, I, I don't understand the whole talking about like building a safe environment for women like like he's not like a threat to women he's not a threat to women he just jacked off to something that you know you probably wouldn't want people to find out about which is you know 99 percent of people Remove by Reddit. Oh yeah, that's the original. Yep. This is the first post I've seen from the sub in a few days. I genuinely thought he was trolling at first until I saw the... Yeah, no, I was going to say, the fact that he's going all in and being so emotional, I thought it was a troll. Upside for him is he can write off that payment of taxes because he's made content with it now. Ah, and he got the Reddit gold. He eating good. He eating good for that. This is hard to watch. Don't be horny on main. For real. If you're going to get horny over a co-worker, you rub that shit out in an underground bunker and burn the evidence. This guy did it on main while streaming. <laughs> never underestimate the power of Akuma. Never. Never underestimate. What a day to be Maya and Pokey. My God. Yeah, I imagine like Pokemon and that will come out with like a little snide subtweet that will juice, but that's pretty much it. Post not clarity. Post not tragedy. <laughs> uh, you, you can't, yeah, you said, you said a funny thing there. You're karma, sir. Here you go. This day will henceforth be known as Marketing Monday. I mean, to be fair, it's good marketing. I had no idea who Atriarch was until this happened. I had no idea. So it is actually good marketing. I'll give you that. Bro really clicked on porn ads. No, I was going to say, like, who does that? For real. Okay, that was way too loud. I just went deaf. I feel terrible for his wife. This is incredibly... Yeah, I keep forgetting as a wife. For real, though, not to mention she's probably friends with them. Doesn't she also still live with QT? Nope. Oh, actually pay, paid for porn Omega lol. <laughs> so true. So true. Who does that? Outside of commissions anyways. Uh, this was a neat wife collab stream, but they should have did a tier list or something instead of crying. <laughs> they, do, they do a tier list of like the biggest tier. To roll down the eye. Yeah, that's, uh... Yikes. Damn. I like how the, the title of the stream is actually kind of true now. We actually have a drama stream. We actually have a drama stream. Oh, that's so... Oh. Poor little fella. Poor little fella. Yeah, you do... The the thing with the wife is pretty bad. You, I do feel bad for him there. But, like, just him crying is just so ridiculous. I don't understand, like, why you need to cry about it. And then the whole... It's almost like he's worried about getting a ban. You know? Like, trying to make a safe environment for women on Twitch. Because it's pretty apparent that, like, the bigger female streamers, they have all the pull and all the connections at Twitch, 100%. So it's almost like he's just trying to avoid a ban. Because I guess that is bad. Because he's showing porn on stream. I mean, that, that's a ban, straight up. But then it could be twisted to him, like, endangering, you know. Yeah, it's just madness. Forzen's take on the Atriarch. Okay, I gotta see. I love Forzen. I gotta see this. He'll just say two words. Pokey and I just watched Pokey <laughs> and Maya get red. Okay. <laughs> That sounds exciting. <laughs> That's it. You know the comments are just going to be saying- The comments are just going to be saying Forzen. Thank you, Mr. Forz. <laughs> Amazing. Forzen. Yeah, there you go. Forzen. A classic. Classic Sweden moment. Classic Sweden moment. My name is Forzen. I play PUBG and I keep being attacked by fucking stream snipers. 
I, I'm not, I don't know why reaction people get so much hate on Twitch. I'm just, I'm watching. I'm not reacting, I'm just watching. I'm allowed to make fun of Swedish people, I'm dating one. Uh, I, th I think that's it for the stream, honestly. I was gonna do, uh, I was gonna do hi-fi, but I might do it tomorrow because I feel like I'm crashing a little bit. I'm a Diane, little bit tired. Diane, please, I promise it isn't what you think it is. Look, she came on to me. Okay, thank you all for joining. I will see you guys maybe tomorrow. I'm probably gonna jump onto Cruelty Squad.